welcome back to Pig and Beef. Today we have a bone and pork butt, aka pork shoulder, that we are going to cook in our pit barrel cooker and make some pulled pork. We've already lit the charcoals and are going to drop them into the basket, insert the rods, close the lid, and then go inside and get the pork butt ready to go. For the binder today we are going to use mustard and for the rub we are using Tennessee Mojo Barbecue Magic. We also have these four hooks that we'll be using to hang the pork butt in the pit barrel cooker. This is a big piece of meat so no need to go easy on the rub. Now you may be wondering why we're going with four hooks on this. You can get away with two, but we've learned from past experience that sometimes two doesn't cut it and you'll end up with the meat falling into the coals. So what we're doing is putting two in each side with the fast side up, and by having four in there, we'll have a little more peace of mind during the cook. So our coals have ashed over, so we're going to put a couple of hickory wood chunks in for flavoring. So we're now ready to add the pork butt to the pit barrel. And again, we're hanging the meat fast side up with the four hooks hung on the bars here. Now we're gonna let the pit barrel do its thing and come back when the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. All right, it's been about five hours and the internal temperature has reached 160 degrees. We are now gonna pull it off and wrap it in foil. We're keeping this pretty simple, but we've got a couple of layers of tin foil and we're going to pour a little bit of apple juice in here to braise the pork and then wrap it up tightly. Now you'll notice that we've removed the bars and put the grate back into the pit barrel, which means that we're done hanging it. We're going to put the lid back on and wait for the meat to get to a target temperature of 200 degrees. It's been a couple of hours and the meat has reached a target temperature of 200 degrees. Now we are going to wrap it with a towel and throw it in a cooler for a while to rest. We had this resting for about an hour. If you have the time to let it rest, definitely do it. It will maintain its temperature while resting for a few hours. One of the reasons I like having a bone and pork butt is it's a pretty good indicator on how tender the meat is if it comes out pretty easily like you see here. The next step is to shred up the meat. We have some meat claws here, but if you did it right, it should be tender enough to pull it with forks as well. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out our other content as well. If you like what you see, leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button.